so beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful day, a beautiful week. Sun shiny, nearly perfect temperature. God is good. The sunrise this morning was so beautiful too. Beaming through the dark clouds brightly, shining radiantly to remind us of His goodness, faithfulness, mercy that endures every morning. Amen. Our God is awesome. Happy Wednesday! I have an awesome, awesome word to bring us today. And it's about hearing His voice. Hearing the voice of our God, the voice of the Holy Spirit, which we need to hear more than ever. Amen. Because He's such a good, good God. And our steps are ordered by Him if we seek Him and we hear Him and we obey Him then we are in alignment with his heart, his will, his good plans and purposes for our lives. And this is what I'm striving for every day, every morning, that I am in tune and in fellowship, walking in intimacy with the Holy Spirit. So I pray this word blesses you for whatever your needs are, whatever issues, troubles, circumstances, um, you know, journey, chapters of life that you're in, whether it's uh, trials or crisis or tragedies or celebration, victory, whatever it is, we need to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because Jesus died not to give us religion, but Jesus died to restore us in right relationship, fellowship, intimacy with God our Father through the fellowship and intimacy of the Holy Spirit. And all who are born of Him, born of His Spirit, has His voice of truth, can hear His voice of truth. He's the Spirit of truth. And we hear Him, and we listen and we obey. We follow Him, amen? And He only leads us into His abundant and eternal life. Hallelujah. Let me bring this word to us. Hear His Voice by Dr. June Sheltron Wright. If you will listen to the sound of my voice, if you will hear my voice and obey my voice and follow me, then you will have great success. It takes more than just hearing His voice. Amen. It takes seeking Him, hearing His voice, following Him, and obeying Him. Then we will have great success. Hallelujah, says the Lord, for I will never lead you astray. I will never ensnare you. I will never harm you. I will never fail you. My voice will never lead you into darkness, but give you light. Hallelujah. That's why I love, love, love waking up and catching a glimpse of the sunrises every morning. So beautiful. And it just speaks volume to me. It reminds me of God's promises that just as the sun rise every morning, His love, His goodness, His grace, His mercy, His faithfulness, His favor, His liberty, His victory for us is every day faithfully sure and true if we would just come to him and bask in his presence and seek his heart, seek his face, follow him. Amen. That's what the sun rises reminds me of. His faithfulness, his goodness, his grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> my voice will never lead you into darkness, but give you light. For my word is lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. This is why we seek His Word every day, because we want His light, amen, to shine upon our path so that we could walk in His path that is secure, that leads us into victory, into liberty, into the abundant life that Christ died to give us. Hallelujah. 
It is never dark, cloudy, or insecure. Every step that I order for you is secure. It is a step of faith, but all of your steps will be upon the solid foundation of me. Hallelujah. Me, God, Jesus, and Jesus is his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word. You will not fall nor fail as you hear my voice. I am speaking. Listen and follow me, says the Lord. You have run here and there to find your way and have frustrated yourself to discover my will and purpose and plan for your life, says the Lord. Sadly, that is very, very true of what I've been doing these couple of decades, running to and fro, seeking God's will for my life, my ways, and it's led to pain, heartaches, heartbreaks, misery, destruction. However, <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Because of his loving kindness, his mercy and compassion, we are not destroyed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yet it is within you. It is my still small voice. I am not hiding from you. I said that it will come, that if you will come, I will not cast you out. If we would just come to him, he will not cast us out. Amen. He answers our prayers. If we come to him humbly, honestly, truthfully, sincerely, seeking for his heart, his will, his word, his purposes, his plans, his truth, with all of our hearts, mind, body, strength, and soul, he will not cast us out. Amen. Hallelujah. He's a good God. He's a good God. If you seek me, you will find me. This is not available for a few, but for all who will come. For every human being and every nation's tongues and tribes and every continent. Hallelujah. All who would seek him, seek God, seek Jesus, seek his word, seek his heart, we will find him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My wisdom and counsel is deep within you, for that is where I reside. We're born again. We have the spirit of truth. We have the spirit of wisdom, counsel, might, revelation, understanding, knowledge, power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. This is why we must be born again of the Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. Listen to my voice. You can know my, my precise will for every step that I order for you for your life right now. I'm thinking about my amazing sister in Christ, one of my bestest friends, faithful friend, sister in the Lord, Alicia, right now. We just got off the phone with each other and um i feel strongly that it was a divine conversation connection even though it's about real estate it was father's divine plans and her steps were ordered of the lord for her to call me this morning for us to finally chat so that's how god leads us he's faithful he wants his best for our lives in every area so whether it's real estate you know, relationship, finances, health, um, our children, it doesn't matter. He wants his best, his plans, his purposes that's ordained by him. If we would just seek him and she's been seeking him. Amen. Hallelujah. For even as I said that I will never leave you nor forsake you. So it is with my voice. You are my sheep. And I said, they will hear my voice and follow me. His sheep hears his voice daily, not once every five years, not once every Sunday hearing from our pastors. No, his sheep born again of his spirit, the spirit of truth, will hear his voice every day about whatever it is he's trying to reveal to us, whether we're asleep or awake. We will hear his voice because those that are one with the Lord is one spirit with the Lord and he downloads 
his voice, his revelation, wisdom, understanding, knowledge, his instructions into our hearts, whether we're asleep or awake. Amen? Because our spirit man doesn't sleep, and God does not sleep either. He never sleeps. He hovers over us. He watches over us. And while we're asleep, he downloads his heart. He reveals his mysteries, his kingdom, his instructions, the things that are going on in our lives now and the things to come. Amen. He's a spirit of truth who knows it all. He's infinite wisdom. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My voice is speaking and I am calling you into quiet confidence in me this day. Do you have quiet confidence in him today? Hallelujah. As you choose to hear and obey and trust in me at all times, at all times, through all circumstances, the good, the bad, the highs and the lows of life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It will tend to life that is abundant and free. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is abundant life of joy, peace, righteousness, and the Holy Ghost, and there is liberty. That's how you know if the Spirit of the Lord is with you or not, because He leads us on His path of righteousness and peace. Without peace and holiness and righteousness, no man shall see God. Amen. That's a promise. This is why we have to come to him, just like the prodigal son running back home, amen, to where father is. Um, we have to come to our father and dwell and bask in his presence. Hallelujah. All right. This word was given to Dr. June Sheltron Wright. She's a prophetic pastor, evangelist, and teacher. She's a senior pastor of Faith Fellowship Ministries in Florida since 1988. She has ministered in the prophetic to individuals and corporate groups for decades. I pray this word blesses you. We bless you. Pastor June Sheltron, we bless you. We bless you. Well, I love you guys. I need to eat my breakfast and run some errands. And may the Lord bless you. May you hear his voice as you seek him with all of your heart, mind, body, strength, and soul. Seek his voice. He says in his word, Jeremiah 3.33, Call unto me, and I will show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Hallelujah. So call upon his name. His name is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I love you guys. Be blessed.